Hey everybody, Kusmos here, back again with Slay the Spire. We'll be jumping right into the fact, again, running without card filter, so we have a lot of what I honestly kind of consider trash cards, we'll see if we can make things work. And we're going to go really daring, transform a card. Okay, darkness. Darkness is a solid one. Our burning enemies there, I think I like taking this route. Picking an upgrade to our darkness, which... Honestly, the upgraded version is very, very nice. We'd like to be able to cycle that around. Not being able to cycle those very well does make those a little uh, questionable, perhaps. Now, if I can yet yeah, darkness and then do that, that's pretty nice. Ooh, recursion and darkness. Oh, yes. Bring it on. Cycle that. Now we're going to take da some damage here, we didn't really have the defenses in place. And I can go ahead and just kill both of these. So that's pretty solid. Uh, why are you red? Oh, you're the blood merchant. Um... Interesting. Very interesting. Um, is there anything that really seems super huge? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, it's a very interesting one, but I feel hard justifying giving up any significant amount of health. I'd like to upgrade all three of my orb-related things. Just because they can be quite powerful. Go ahead and do that. And you, sir, are dead. Not really sold on the... Ooh, there we go. On the crystal orb concept. Did I get... I'm a little confused what I just did. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and put this at the back now. Just because I have a lot of good ways to get it moving. Now let's go ahead and take you down. I can still kill him if I get, for example, that. Alright, not terrible. We get a full block through. And I can zap and dual cast for way more damage than I need. And I don't, for once, not taking a claw. I think it's worthwhile. Let's go ahead and spread the damage out here. Because it could make a dual cast Dark Orb uh, capable of lethal. Well, now I dual cast pretty much anything, and it'll do the job. All right, going pretty solid. Sunder's a fun one, but not what we need. And I don't think we need Mercury Hourglass either. Let's do a little of this. Sad that I don't get to block any of the 12 freaking damage we're taking to the face. Okay, we can block here. And that fella ticks up quite quickly. Not that we need it this time around. And anything nice here. Don't like the ghost card. Um. You know. Seems a great thing to have prior to fight fighting a burning elite. Just make him so much smaller. I'd say that gives us a pretty significant advantage. Now, we do need to get these guys moving quickly. It still is worthwhile. Dual cast anything of the sort. Oh my lord. That'll do it. 
What have I done here? Um, not a fan of that. Can we take this fight and hope for the best? Well, this will certainly help. So we recurse this. Then double cast. Okay. I might... Let's see. Play some drone. So... I mean, that's not terrible, right? We start off with an advantage, it's in our discard. Get just a little extra oomph to start with. Yeah, that seems workable. Yeah, let's try that. Obviously, rest here. And take that. This is a terrible... Terrible starting turn. Um, unrelenting. What are you again? Oh no, I've chosen wrong. I have chosen horribly, horribly wrong. Oh, please don't have the full effect. Please give me a good relic. Okay, or Calcum is workable. Do I want to cycle this or? 44 damage, can I deal 10 to him? I think so. But that, yes, it's him. Alright. Shouldn't have played that. Anger the Mushrooms, I think. Alright, do this. Managed to block all the damage. We'll die next turn. The problem is we're going to hit Vulnerable. I like the healing, though. And we're not taking an attack, so let's exhaust these guys. We'll play the block just in case. Uh, weakness, we don't attack that much, so minimal effect. And we're starting to get the languid going on her. I think slimes are probably our best bet. Uh, let's dual cast this guy. And play the blocks. And they split into teeny tiny little guys. And I think that's probably our best bet getting the bites. Just because we like the healing. Uh, mm. Slowed, it's not great, but... Okay, we're safe this turn. Do not like being slowed there. Let's take the slimes again. We can... Okay, that helps. Taking a whole lot of damage here. Not dead. Okay, that, that worked out for us. So, dual cast this. Curse that just because. Heal up to make me feel better. And she runs. It's possible if I'd done things slightly differently, it could have gone even better, but... No, I just don't, don't want any of that business. Let's get the healing. Definitely like the... kind of passive-ish healing from that. Alright. Let's do this, and then this. A little risky, perhaps, getting rid of that. But if we can do that while, or before Power Surge comes back around, we'll lose that shortly. Yep, there it goes. There we go again, okay. 
Do we take two power surges? I mean, it's not great on the turns we draw them. But... It's super freaking powerful beforehand. So we do this. One of these. There's probably some more stuff we want to upgrade. There's a good chance we'll draw one or two of them. Okay, nope. Excellent. Certainly an argument to be made to have... Dual cast that. Very much so. Alright. Now the problem is we don't have enough lightning to break through that. Yeah, that'll do it though. We want... Okay, so... Huh. I don't think we want any of that. And this looks like a pretty good route. Let's see, I don't really like anything here. Sadly. So we're gonna take another a lot of money for uh we should have another shop here in a bit. So hopefully we can find something worthwhile here. Or there rather. Let's see. Let's do this. Hope for Well, hoping for hitting the bird at some point. Okay, obviously that's not great. There goes the bird. On the plus side, those mean I'll draw... Oh, never mind. I was thinking maybe it might take longer to draw the power surge. Over, oh, he is dead to this. It should be, right? Yeah. Sorry, never going to be made for sweeping beam. I mean, I'm not going to take it, but... should also upgrade those power surges. Let's do that. And I'd love me a heal here. Alright, what do you do? Alright. A little more, uh... Let's see. First time you lose H... Sure, why not? Might lead to annoying things, but we'll give it a try. Interesting. Not a fan of most of that, though. We will, however, upgrade the other power surge. Just because that's a huge, huge chunk of focus to start up with. damage there. And that upgrades that. Okay. Ooh. Let's put that next to you. And... Maybe so short. Well, this happens. So... Alright. Thought maybe that might do something. But apparently not. That's okay, though. So let's hit you. Yeah, make you the weakest one. Man, these guys are really going to ta town on me. There we go. Yeah, since these target the weakest one, we just kind of cycle things around a little bit. Or, you know, wounded the knight so that he would take the hit. I mean, I assume that's obvious, but just in case it isn't. And I'll probably want to heal up here because, well, I might have been a little too aggressive in some of these fights. Let's do that. I guess I defend and throw down in darkness. I take a hit here so we get that next to that. That's pretty nice. Shame those two came off so soon. Uh, however, that's 50 freaking damage right there. Don't think I need any of that. 
Okay, so, boom. I think we go aggro right up front here. Because it's a pretty nice chunk of damage we've managed to do. Now we're going to get that going, which isn't great. There we go, however. And there's something to be said for those crystals that may not as bad as I thought they were at first. But I think they're better if we've got a lot of orbs. Cycle you round. Now the problem with having done that, though, is it does mean that... And you know what? I think we do that. We got rid of that early, but... I don't know, I think it's okay. So that's gonna get the advantage to that. We get a crystal there. Do that. That gets kind of double effect. And... Let's see, if you have less than three orb slots, gain an orb slot. That's just... it does literally nothing for me then, right? We will do this. Do that, because I don't care. And cycle that around for the damage. I'm not too concerned with those. I mean, sure, I could try to preserve it, but don't think it's really worth it. I'm not gonna try to... I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah, I think I'm dead. Yep. Very, very dead. Oof, da. That, again... I mean, I mean, I'm almost certainly not playing optimally, but... It really feels like the diluted card pool makes it even harder to put together a good build. And I mean, honestly, maybe... I, me diluting the relics is giving me issues as well. Maybe I've just been playing this game entirely too long. And I'm getting reckless. I don't know. There's one well, where I actually had a pretty good series of wins. But um, the adding of like the extra little bits of challenges trying to push towards the heart. And then some of these stuff from the mobs. Mobs. Mods. Goodness. Mods is what I'm trying to say here. The modifications have just pushed it. You know, I don't win that often. It's a shame. It is still pretty fun. But hey, everybody likes to win once in a while. Nonetheless, we'll be back tomorrow to play a little bit more with the Construct. I might be kind of reaching the end, li end of the line with the Construct. And maybe after that we'll see what adding a different class, something to replace him. We'll see what we might get into but that is for later. Till then, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like if you did. And let me know what you think in the comments. But until next time, catch you later.